represent the historical committee and our purpose is to chronicle all of the various uh, opportunities for recreation uh, here at Countryside. And to my right is Evelyn Small. I, I've been here uh, from, for 32 years and I came here really because I saw tennis courts. I live at Country Park. I'm Billy Rogers, I uh, live in Province Way, been uh, coming down for 14 seasons now, and uh, I'm on the uh, men's traveling uh, tennis team, playing different communities around the area here. Um, Evelyn, you mentioned that tennis was a factor, you are coming here, but Billy, how about yourself? No, tennis was not a factor in my coming here, actually. Uh, I had only played uh, one year of tennis one one winter uh, in Alaska indoors only because the hockey rink was being renovated so I was never really a tennis player when I came to countryside so in other words even if you're not a tennis player and you come here you may take it up you you may I mean obviously the courts are fabulous facilities fabulous and uh, great way to meet people and get out and get a little exercise I wouldn't do agree with Bill as far I, as that facility. I do agree that the facilities are great. They were great way back then. And my purpose of trying to play tennis here was to meet other people. I only knew one other person. And I figured that would get me going. Get on the court, meet more people. Yeah, one of the soft courts a big factor for older players? I believe they are. If easier on the body. I I, I loved them. I, did, I wasn't a, impressed in the beginning, but now I am. 30 years later, I'm impressed. Do we have enough courts, uh, both hard and soft, Billy, to, to meet our needs? I, I think we do. We have uh, four uh, fabulous hard true courts, and we have a lot of uh, regular hard surface courts and you know other communities province way has it you know country haven have it uh, country manor so i i think that there's enough tennis courts um at countryside but of course these hard true ones are by far the best they're the easiest especially if you've had knee replacements um you know it's great on the body basically i don't want to play on any hard courts anymore now we have both social and competitive tennis. You mentioned you were on the team, and Evelyn, I think in the past you played. I was in, in the past. I'm not now, but so, I did play. So is this a good place for both social and competitive tennis? Yeah. I totally agree. It is. It, yeah, it, it's great for social and competitive. Uh, it's nice that we have a team, um, and uh, but I enjoy just as much basically coming out and playing with all the guys you know um, either way it doesn't matter to me but I like both of them Evelyn what is the tennis schedule for men and women I, I believe that the in the mornings in the mornings uh, Monday Wednesday Friday for the women and Tuesday Thursday Saturday for the men um, I believe the men the women play their matches on Monday and the men play on Tuesday? Correct, yeah. Now, for the last few years, we've had a coach. Uh, how's that working out? Elias is wonderful. I mean, he is a great coach. Uh, he's been here with uh, for a couple of years with us. He uh, has certain time set. Uh, he has uh, different clinics for beginners, for intermediate. He coaches the tennis team. He runs us through drills as far as you know strategy when you play doubles. Um, he does a great job over there. Um, really great guy to work with, and a lot of fun. We would be now remiss. This is historical committee's uh, opportunity to present tennis if we didn't get into the history of tennis. And uh, Evelyn and I share a common. Uh, 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 situation we are both the last original owners who are still active in the tennis program That's so correct. Evelyn can let's talk about early tennis well for the women uh, Jane George started the group she went over to the office and found out that they played on Monday Wednesday and Friday so she got a few people together and from there it grew 
and she worked very hard at it, did a great job. She would uh, have luncheons once a month, and the women really enjoyed it, and we are very grateful that we had Jane at Countryside for the beginning of women's tennis. Now, her, her male counterpart was a guy named Bill Maddox. And Bill, for many years, uh, organized the men's tennis program. And uh, we also, uh, the first president of the Tennis Association was Dick Whitney. And uh, again, we were playing on three hard courts uh, across the street for openers. And uh, at one point in time, I don't remember the year, Evelyn, but those three courts were converted to soft. Do you recall when that was? Uh, is that 1995? Someplace I think, in I think it was 1995. Yeah. And who were the people involved in that of it? Well, we had Judah Rubin, we had Dick Whitney, Ray Boyd. Um, Dick Ryan? Uh, I don't, yeah, Dick Ryan. Yeah. They went to various um, sites, clubs, and uh, they determined the service that we should have. And, uh, that's how it came about. They decided on the hard truth, and they did a lot of work to get that those three courts together. And it was great. Now I know, Bill, you were involved uh, in the transition from the, the three soft courts across the street to the present facility, which you can see behind us right. on both sides of us. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this whole? Yeah, process? there there was a lot of people that contributed to that. Uh, Diane, Dick. Uh, Bruce Hazel, Larry Hulse, my, uh, Andy Brovey, myself, and there was probably others too that I don't recall at this time, but we, um, we had meetings with Mike Bradfield, we had visited other facilities to find out what was the best, the things that we really liked, and brought those proposals forward to Mike, and, um, and, and they were great with providing us with what we needed. Uh, you know, where we have angles in the in the corners of each court, we have the short fences, so each you know each game isn't interrupted by balls going over. Um, we have shade in between each courts. Uh, we have restrooms right next door here. You have water. Um, every a lot of people contributed in the design of how we wanted these courts to be, and it, it's turned out fabulous. Like I say, when I go to other communities to play in the tennis league. Um, our facilities are the best of, of any of them around. People love to come play here. Um, you know, some of the communities you have to go a quarter mile to use the restroom. And uh, I think we, we did a pretty good job overall with everybody contributing um, and, the, and the ideas. And it, it's just turned out to be a, just a first class facility, actually. I'm going to throw in a couple more names uh, just to round things out. Um, first of all, there's a gentleman who doesn't play tennis named Bob Ellison. And Bob was one of the early um, gadflies, I think that's a good word, uh, trying to push the board to start thinking about coming across the street. And uh, so, again, this is probably delayed recognition for Bob, but he was he, he, he filled that role. And just one other name, Dave Fredette, uh, who's been very involved yeah. following Bill Maddox and organizing the men's tennis. Yeah. So he was kind of like the Diane Dick of, you know, uh, uh, of the men. Count, yeah. counter to Absolutely. That. Well, uh, any other comments you'd like to make? Is Countryside still the greatest value in South Florida? Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it, it's a fabulous facility. You know, it really is. And, and it's played seven days a week. In the morning, of course, nobody really wants to come out here when it's 85 and, you know, 85% humidity. Oh, well, uh, how about lights at night? Lights at night. That's yeah. another one. That's, yeah. Yeah, that was part of the design. You know, we said definitely have to have lights, you know, and it's and it's great. And, and with the pavilion over there, with the seating there, you can have functions. If we have pizza parties, it's also great for the bocce, between the bocce courts right there. Yeah, it works out really good. And other people come and use the the um, facility over there, you know, if they're having a little party or something. So it, it's it's just a, it's, it's a well laid out facility. Uh, listen, thank you for coming. Thank you, Joe, for, for, for helping us uh, to organize this. And, uh, have a good day.